I'm moving. Hey, everybody. Wonderful weekend here in beautiful Puerto Rico. Walking down to the basketball court to uh, walk for Pollo and get these legs moving today. So, I, um, you know, this, this royal interview thing has really become something, right? Uh, so Oprah, <laughs> you know, like I'm still tripping, you know, that Oprah's still tripping, like, she's, she has no, oh my gosh, the royals, and you know, there's people out there that really just don't care, I mean, look, at the end of the day, you know, they don't, all they are is just a, a weird family. <laughs> You know, but uh, that has a direct link to apparently Count Dracula. So, uh, how about that? So, uh, with that being said, you know, so now everyone is coming after Meghan Markle or defending her more so because Pierce Morgan was. A butt hurt, scorned, uh, would be suitor, you know. And, you know, Pierce Morgan, listen, Pierce Morgan, any which way, is a, I mean, look, he is a, a posh, um, snarky, snooty, you know, arrogant, you know, probably you know, is a white supremacist, you know, you know, maybe not a, an outright racist, I don't believe, but, why not? An outright racist, I don't believe, but, um, I do think that he's just like all these other white conservative men trying to keep the establishment a certain way. I think he's also a bully. You know, that's what I do think he is. He has a bully pulpit and he says some pretty foul things, you know, things that are, you know, racially insensitive, but I don't believe just calling him a racist. I, would, I mean, people, people like, people have, people have a, people can like what they like. People can like who they like, you know, and nobody should really be upset about that but the fact that he's just an outright bully I don't job with any which way so uh, so they got him on his show and his uh, his co-host a brother called him out and he ends up running off the show and really you know he's dramatic he was just you know, being dramatic. So, um, you know, he's running off. So I think that probably has a lot to, to do with him and his take with Meghan Markle is the fact that he was trying to hit and she wasn't letting him. And apparently after he let, after he uh, put her in a cab, that's when she went and met Harry. Ah! So. I mean, to add insult to injury, and now they're talking about how the royal family is, which, by the way, the royal family, they're now in damage control. They're throwing off, they're throwing out all sorts of photos and pictures, you know, to say that, oh, we really do love black people, you know? It's, uh, it's super funny, you know? It's just funny to see. Yeah, man, but I tell you, I still can't believe that he's related to Count Dracula. Like, I don't know if anybody realizes that. What's going on here? Like, the dude, Prince Charles, is related to Vlad the Impaler, Count Dracula. 
That makes no sense and all the sense in the world. <laughs> you know, we grow up we're thinking Count Dracula is just a uh, fictitious character, turn to find out that he's real. And not that he's just real. Now he is um, a direct descendant of the royal family of England. How about them apples? So, Meghan Markle, listen, I don't know what you're trying to get with this. I mean, you know, you guys got a life. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, uh, to downplay and, and, and the, the fact of the mental anguish and the pain that he's going to and the health of the baby. These are the important things. And it's just, it's just like, okay, you know, people have shitty families. You know what I mean? It's just that this family is pretty famous. You know what I mean? But, but people got shitty families. So I don't think this should be any different, looked at any different other than this is just a scandal from a family that's very secretive. You know, so, um, yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel people are, are really giving this a lot of attention. And I mean, I just want to see where this thing plays out because, you know, there's still Andrew, there's still um, the other Prince Andrew out there that's um, Jeffrey Epstein's homie. You know, like he's never come to friggin' um, justice yet. Um, yeah, man, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff still going on out there. So let's see how this thing plays out. But Piers Morgan is leaving his show. Uh, he is, I'm sure, gonna start something else so he can go and talk some crap. You know, because he's just a, he's just, like I said, he's a bully. You know, sort of like a Bill O'Reilly type. You know, and it just ends up being, it just ends up really just being, looking at little, uh, little men trying Hello. not to be, trying not to be uh, over, o overshadowed, overlooked by the fact that women are having more, um, more equity. People are taking more things women say into the consideration whereas before they would just blow it off as oh she's whatever da 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 now it's real um yeah man the times are changing he is he is he's gonna be a casualty I mean he's gonna be a casualty in a certain sense but I also feel that there is a there still is space for him because this old culture isn't gonna isn't just gonna lay down you know, so, um, but this bit of scandal here, this bit of scandal, because the thing is this, they have children, right? And they're pregnant again. So it's not like this is going anywhere. Like, you know, like it, it's, it's, it's cray. You know, it's not like it's going anywhere. So Pierce Morgan, goodbye. Um, but let's see how he reinvents himself. Let's see how much, uh, how much change do you think can happen? You know, like, will this, it, will this mean something different for the royal family? Will it forever change? Will they ever, you know, will, 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 will more people come out? Will more people step up? Will more royal family members, you know, step out and support Megan? Um, you know, or will more royal family members, you know, support, um, you know, the people like Pierce Morgan and those guys. So, yeah, man, it's scandal, definitely. But again, Oprah, really, you really think, you really are shocked that the royal family is accused of being old and white and pure blooded. What does that mean? I don't want anything black in it. <laughs> okay, what do we think? So, um...
Yeah, man. This is the, the this is the uh, the talk of the of the town. So, yeah, man. It, it just shocked me that yeah, Pierce Morgan was uh was so transparent. Like. It's so easy to, to to see why he talks crap about Megan. Like he's a, he, he's 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 butt hurt. Too bad, buddy. Anyhow, if any anybody out there is suffering from any type of um, you know mental health, especially when you're pregnant, especially around new family, I mean, you know these things. Right now, it's talking about the royals, but it's pretty it's pretty um common in many families, you know, especially if um, they feel you are taking away one of their beloved family members, you know? So um, it's easy for them to uh, just blame it on the, on the angry black woman, you know? So, um, and Megan is like a quarter black, like something like that. Any which way, that, that, that has nothing to do with it, either which way. But, uh, <laughs> stay tuned, let's see how this thing plays out.